we think if we understand English 100%, only then we can understand English. Sometimes you pick up few words and you understand. I'm trying to communicate you without words. <laughs> People who don't understand English, they watch English movies and they understand English movies. I have a colleague of mine, he's got this problem of Ray Array. I tried to imitate him naturally. I started pronouncing it in the same way. When we speak English, we should be someone else. <laughs> you know, it looks like Pathan. Okay, let's start with listening. Sometimes we think if we understand English 100%, only then we can understand English. But this is not true. Remember, we've got some parts of speech. What are parts of speech? Nouns, verbs, adjectives, articles, prepositions, and blah, 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 right? There's a long list, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. Uh, there are some parts of speech, and out of those parts of speech, mainly there are three parts of speech which express the main idea in the sentence. And those three parts of speech are, number one, verb. Verb is called action word. Verb tells about the action that takes place in the sentence. Number two, we've got nouns. And number three, we have adjectives. So verbs, nouns, and adjectives. So these parts of speech, if you understand, okay, you can even understand the whole sentence. And by the way, full understanding of each and everything is not necessary. Sometimes you pick up few words and you understand. Now, for example, if I say, would you please go to the other room and get me a glass of water from there? Complete sentence. And if I say, hey, you, bring water for me. You, bring water for me. You understand. It's the same thing. Okay. And sometimes, you know, if I say, would you please give me some water? He will just pick up one cent, one word, water. Pani? Yeah? Pani? And then he's going to give me pani and all that. Okay. So sometimes, like, you know, you speak a long, long, long sentence and then someone concludes and say, e pani mangda. <laughs> okay. So that pani mangda is actually, you know, the bottom line. So whenever you listen to English, whenever you listen to native speakers of English, just focus their verbs, nouns, adjectives, focus their body language. There is one communication that is beyond verbal language. English is a verbal language. So there is some communication which is beyond verbal language, right? I'm trying to communicate you without words. Yes. <laughs> okay, what does it mean? Let's go. Yes, yeah, sometimes in the class, you look at your class fellow and say, yeah. So, what is this? This is communication beyond verbal language, communication beyond language. So, you need to focus that also. Try to, try to align yourself with the speaker of that language. Right? You know, people who don't understand English, they watch English movies and they understand English movies. Right? They don't understand the dialogues, but they understand beyond the dialogues, whatever is going on in the movie and all that. So uh, listening is the very first step. Have you ever noticed when a baby is born in a Muslim family? The very first thing we do in the ears of the baby, what is that? In both ears. And what is this? We give a message to the baby, welcome to Islam. You've been born in a Muslim family and we start with Azan, right? So that is, I mean, now we don't care. We don't say like the baby is so small to understand azan. The baby is too small to understand any wording and anything like that. And then afterwards, the same baby, when that baby, I'm, I'm talking about small baby, okay, yeah. When the same baby, <laughs> yeah, when the same, yeah, there are two babies, okay. So when the, when the same baby is around three months old, six months old, and the mothers, they talk to their babies. They talk in a friendly way, kuchi kuchi talk, and you know, we call it baby talk. So that baby talk with the baby, and then the same baby, after six months, one year, produces some sounds, and those sounds turn into words. Those words change into sentences, and then all the babies are sitting here, okay? Yeah, and then you speak the language very, very confidently. So listening is the most important thing towards any language. The type of language you listen to, the type of language you speak. Have you noticed one more thing? Within a family, the people or the members of the family, they speak in the same style. I have a colleague of mine, he's got this problem of re-are, gora, chiriya. 
<laughs> okay, Gora and Chiria. So, like he invited me to his uh, family function. I went up there. His mother had the same thing. His sisters had the same thing. All the family ki re re atakti hai. Okay, so you know these traits are the family traits. Sometimes the family members they speak in the same way. And what I did, I tried to imitate him on a number of times. I said, "Hey, Gora, Chiria," and then naturally. I started pronouncing it in the same way. So since that time, I stopped. Yeah, you know, if you copy someone, you try. Yeah, when I said Gora to myself first time, I thought to myself that I would not do it again. Okay. So, anyways, coming back to listening. Now, uh, it's very easy to listen to native speakers of English. It's very, very easy, and listening is fun. Listening is really fun. How many of you like comedy programs? Good. You watch comedy programs in English. Initially, you will not understand. You'll watch a comedy program. You know, that's why I, I rarely tell jokes to my students in English. They don't understand. At the end, then when I laugh, then they laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like that, okay? So, if you like comedy programs, you can watch some comedy programs in English. How many of you like seasons and all that? Good, good. So, obviously, you can watch these seasons in English. Right? What, what seasons are you watching? Friends. Friends. Money. Okay, Money Heist. Alchemy of Souls. Oh, sorry? Alchemy of Souls. Okay, Alchemy of Souls. Witches. All right, and anyone else who's watching Sandman. season? Curse. Okay. Sandman. Sandman. Good. So, whenever you watch seasons, now there are two things. I've seen many people who watch English movies without any improvement. Zero improvement. You know why? They don't observe. So whenever you watch any season in English, observe how they talk, listen to them carefully, and within your heart, within your mind, try to imitate them. What is imitation? You're copying them. You say, can I help you today? You repeat that in your mind. Can I help you today? Something like that. So that repetition, we call it imitation. Imitation of their accent. And then gradually, you will be able to speak like them. Okay. Now, how many of you like music? Good. Don't worry, okay? We are recording you all. So, <laughs> you can raise your hand. Okay? So, uh, you like music. Uh, instead of listening to your favorite music uh, in Urdu, Hindi, Punjabi, you can listen to your favorite music in English. Right? Now, some people watch Korean music. They, they listen to Korean music, Korean dramas. How many of you? Do we have any victims here? And these people are bound to learn some words of Korean language. Have you learned any Korean? See, some people watch that Altarul in uh, uh, Turkish language. Altarul Turkish language with Urdu subtitles. So these people are bound to learn Turkish language. Okay? So the point is, it's essential for you to learn international English. Which English? <laughs> Not local English. I want to tell you something important. Why are you laughing? Huh? What is your problem? <laughs> So, we don't want to learn local English. When we speak English, we should be someone else. Like if, if somebody speaks Pashto, <laughs> you know, it looks like Pathan. If you speak English, it should not sound that your English is Punjabi English or your English is the version of Urdu Walikman Salam. So, you should sound like English people. And for that, the only possible way out is listening and watching. Try to listen to English, try to watch English programs, uh, and you should have one favorite English speaker. Does anyone have any favorite English speaker? Anyone? Motivational speaker, film star, actor, actress, whatever. Yes. Steve Harvey. Steve, okay. Okay. And? Medhi Hassan. Me huh? Medhi Hassan is English speaker. Very good. <laughs> Medhi Hassan, not the singer, other one. Is another Medhi Hassan. Okay, yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Anyone else? With a favorite, now I'm, uh, don't follow me. All right, now he's saying, Asad Yaqub, don't follow me. I'm a non native English speaker, right? I'm not native English speaker. I'm still struggling and learning and all that. So you should follow native English speaker who was born in English speaking country and all that, okay? Anyways, so this is all about listening. Now let's see, how many of you do reading? Just few. 
Okay, okay, yeah, you say, I like reading very much. I read every day. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. I've just read, okay? Not this reading. Once somebody said, I love reading and my favorite book is Facebook. <laughs> I read Facebook every day, huh? So not Facebook reading, book reading, okay? Yeah, so how many of you read? And how many of you read in English? Good. That's good. That's interesting. Okay, so those who read and uh, I mean the people who read English regularly, they have strong grip over the language. Listening and reading. These two things will improve your writing and speaking. Good listeners are the good speakers. Good readers are the good writers. And today's readers are somewhere written here. Tomorrow's leaders. Readers will become leaders okay so you need to follow all these things and you know it's fun it's just fun all of you have your mobiles is there anyone in the class who's got a buttoned mobile non-android mobile anyone who has got non-android mobile nokia but no wala mobile no one has got that so your mobile is the best resource center for you okay it's it's up to you i mean when we go to your youtube we can see all your Amal Nama there. <laughs> Whatever you watch, it shows there, right? For example, I wanted to buy a camera. I watched one video about that camera, and then YouTube showed me several videos on the same camera. So there, I mean, uh, you should try to do something which is fun and learning, right? Fun and learning. If you're watching, for example, my favorite uh, season, it's very old season. My favorite season is Mind Your Language. You might have seen Mind Your Language. There is an English teacher, spoken English class, one Pakistani student, one Sikh, one Hindu, one Japanese, one Chinese. You can just Google it on YouTube. Watch one episode. It's very nice. It's all about spoken English class. And this was made in England. So I watch that season sometimes. So uh, it's fun for me when I'm, I'm watching it. I'm laughing, enjoying and all that. But I'm learning also. So entertainment plus learning, this is what you need to do. Okay? And by the way, how many of you are seriously willing to learn English? Good. Yeah, Bakiyo se Mazrat hai, class to attend karni padegi phir bhi. Okay? So, those who are seriously interested, remember one thing whatever you are doing, English is going to give you the wings to fly. Right? Now, you are all becoming doctors. Some of you have become doctors already. Some of you are becoming doctors from UWAS, right? So, English is going to give you wings to fly. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever your chosen field is, English is going to give you wings to fly. All right? I tell you, very, uh, whenever I was a student, I ran away from English. Two things I ran away all through my schooling, uh, that was English and school. <laughs> I ran away from school, I ran away from English. And why I ran away from school? Because of English. Okay? Yeah, I always end. Once I ran away from my house also. Once or twice? Twice. Uh, then I came back. Okay? Yeah, then I came back myself. Huh? Good runner. Good runner. Very good runner. Okay? So, uh, I ran away just because of English. And I never knew at that time that one day English is going to help me that much. And like wherever I am today, by the grace of Almighty Allah and the prayers of my parents and my loved ones, it's all because of English. Right? So, I want you all to be an international vet. International? V-E-T -E vet, not W-E-T. Okay? <laughs> all right. So, I want you to be an international vet and you've got your research papers and you've got your articles and you've got your videos and people bring their pets to you in serious cases and all that. Huh? People bring their pets and all that and you give them nice suggestions. So, do you want to reach there? Do you see your career there? Yes, sir. Yeah, if you see, I mean, sometimes what you see, you reach there. Sometimes what you don't even see, Allah Almighty takes you there. You have no idea in your life where life is going to take you one day. And if you're going to be sincere and you're going to work hard, you will be at a good place. Right? All right. Thank you very much.